Hello, welcome back to Learn Economy. In this video, we are going to see certain solve sample questions for UGC net. Coming to the first question, the degree of price control is very large in which of the following market structures? We have imperfect competition, perfect competition, monopoly and both A and B in the options. The correct choice is monopoly. You know that monopoly is a market structure where there is a single seller. So as a result, we can see that uh, this person, the single seller will be having the entire market power with, with him and the consumers uh, who will be coming to purchase the goods uh, offered for sale do not have any alternative, but uh, they must pay the price set by the seller. So here the answer is monopoly. Second question, the offer curve developed by Marshall explains what? whether it is term of trade or equilibrium price ratio or exchange rate or satisfaction level. We have to understand that offer curve is a concept that is mainly seen in the arena of uh, international economics and this is with respect to terms of trade. An offer curve shows how the volumes traded change when the terms of trade or when the terms change. The capital that is consumed during production process is known as is it capital loss, is it production cost or is debt weight loss or what about depreciation. The correct answer is depreciation. We know that depreciation is a phenomenon which happens uh, in the production process. This involves wear and tear of machinery etc. So depreciation is a gradual decrease in economic value of the capital stock of firm or it can be uh, not uh, uh, in the case of a nation or it can be in the case of some other entities which involves in the production process. So uh, we have to uh, understand that the capital that is consumed during production process is known as depreciation. Okay. Coming to uh, the next question, we have three concepts here, liquidity adjustment facility, revaluation of currency and open market operation. The question is which among the follow, which among the given uh, uh, concepts are considered to be fiscal measures. The answer is only two that is devaluation of currency is a fiscal measure whereas the liquidity adjustment facility or open market operations are not coming under fiscal measures. In the case of the horizontal demand curve we can see that the elasticity is infinite because the horizontal demand curve as we all know that it's a curve which is parallel to our x-axis here the demand elasticity is infinite. On the other hand, in the case of a vertical demand curve where the demand curve is parallel to your y-axis, in this case, I mean in the case of a vertical demand curve, the uh, elasticity would be zero. Coming to the next question, uh, uh, this is also concerned with respect to market structure. Just come to the case of perfect competition, uh, that too in the product market. Uh, in the perfect competition in the product market, uh, which all uh, given below is true? Whether MRP would be com com equal to VMP or MRP would be greater than VMP or VMP is greater than MRP or none of the above. Here you have to focus on the type of market given there, it is perfect competition. That too, not in the goods market, here it is given product market. Product, uh, uh, sorry, not, not with respect to the factor market, here it is given product market. Product market means goods market, okay. Under conditions of perfect competition, we know the assumptions, of, we have seen the assumptions of perfect competition, right. There would be large number of buyers and sellers, the product sold will be homogeneous. So, just revise the assumptions of perfect competition there and just apply the assumptions of perfect competition in the given options and you will be able to pick up the right answer. Here uh, the right answer is MRP is equal to VMB. Under the assumption of perfect competition a firm employs a factor up to a point uh, where the price of the factor is just equals to the marginal product of that factor. For example, in the case of labor, you will employ labor till a point where the price of labor that is wage equals the marginal product or the marginal productivity of that labor. Uh, now coming to uh, the next question, the demand curve uh, with respect to demand curve here the question is if the demand for a good is inelastic, increase in price will cause total expenditure of consumers 
that are to increase or decrease or remain the same or become zero? The right answer is increase because if the total demand for a good is inelastic, the, an increase in its price will cause the total expenditure of the consumers to increase. Raising the prices will always cause the total revenue to increase. That's it. Coming to autarky, uh, this concept is mainly uh, seen in the arena of international economics. So, with respect to international trade, what does it mean? Actually, autarky means the idea of self-sufficiency and no international trade by a country. A country is said to be in a complete state of autarky if it has a closed economy, which means that it does not engage in international trade with any other country. That's it. Coming to plan curves. So, what are plan curves? Uh, you might be knowing or you are familiar with all the forms of curves uh, which uh, among that we know that uh, cost curves play a very important role. Cost curves are very important especially when you come to the arena of microeconomics. So what does plan curve mean? Plan curves are short term average cost curves. These SACs are also known as plan curves. And in the short run, a firm can operate on any SAC given the size of the plant. So, it is the size of the plant which determines whether you are operating on SAC 1 or SAC 2 or uh, some other SAC. It is, it is a plant size that would determine your choice of SAC. Coming to another question on elasticity. If elasticity is low, what would be the type of commodity? Whether it is a luxury or whether it is a necessity or whether it doesn't have any importance in the total budget or whether it has some importance in the total budget, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is A and C. That means that the commodity is a necessity and it has got little importance only in the total budget. Coming to the cross elasticity concept, when the cross elasticity is a positive number, what would be the type of good? And the question, the good would be a substitute, whereas in the case of complement, the cost of cross elasticity would be negative. Coming to demand curve again, demand curve, as we all know, that it's a curve which is downward sloping, right? The demand curve would indicate a negative relationship between the price of a product and the quantity demanded. So, the rate equation, law of demand, we know that law of demand states the relationship. That to inverse relationship between the price and quantity of a commodity. Just see, uh, just assume that all the other things influencing the quantity of the commodity remain same or set to the Sparrow's assumption. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos. And I welcome you to my Telegram group and Telegram channel to discuss your doubts there. There have been a lot of members. Um, uh, in the group as well as in, in the channel and you can be a part of the same um, by discussing your thoughts, discussing your doubts, getting clarification etc. Uh, for all these things this group as well as this channel would be acting as a uh, good platform. Okay, Both of these would be offering you good platforms. So please be a part of that. I welcome you to be there. That's it. Thank you.